welcome to vlogmas day seven it is christmas party day so we've got some prep going on but first i'm making some lunch i'm finally getting around to making this beetroot hummus kind of buddha bowl from our gusto delivery this week and the oven smells like the kitchen smells amazing so far I'm just gonna blitz this up. My first ever hummus. I have a feeling I'm gonna be obsessed with making hummus from scratch now that I've worked out how easy it is. Literally, you just put it all in a blender and then you're done. Here we go, what a beautiful, colorful, festive lunch. Very excited about this. Okay, Christmas party makeup is a go. I've just received my latest Skin and Me Daily Dosa and SPF. Two must-haves. I'll go put them in the bathroom. I've also just like opened the most incredible package and I opened this and I wanted to cry because it's just my favourite brand and I feel so lucky to have received it. An amazing gift from Charlotte Tilbury. They've sent a stocking with my name on it and this gift set which has my favourite moisturiser in, Magic Cream. Um, I haven't tried this Magic Body Cream before so I'm excited about that. What beautiful packaging and then the most amazing stocking filled with gifts so i'm gonna open that collagen lip bath icons i haven't tried these before oh my god there's so much stuff in here oh, i'm so lucky airbrush flawless setting spray kit this is amazing because they're minis so they're perfect for carrying around superstar glow kit the most amazing highlighter <gasps> a pillow talk kit this is just the most insane oh my god i love these palettes so much i'm excited to see what the packaging is like this year oh my um who gave you permission to be that stunning i might have to use this for my christmas party makeup today i have got a filming set up today that is so similar to my old makeup tutorials <laughs> got the ring light out <laughs> i need to do my makeup for the party and i thought we could do my makeup together. I've woken up with another spot on my chin. I don't know what's going on. I think maybe it's the stress. All the hormones could be hormones. So I'm thinking, because I'm going to be wearing that silver dress, I'm thinking a kind of sparkly silver glitter eye. I prefer myself, I prefer a gold sparkly eye on me, but I just, it would feel a bit wrong to wear gold. So I'm going to go with silver. Saying that all of my jewellery is gold i don't have any silver jewelry so it might be a little bit of a mix and match <laughs> i've just used the l'oreal infallible 24 hour concealer and i'm gonna buff it buff it in with this is the contour brush from royal techniques and this is just gonna perfect before we go into foundation sometimes i prefer to, to, to do my concealer first sometimes i prefer to do it after but it's kind of a rough job i've also put on a layer of my charlotte tilbury magic cream which i mean this might be the like fourth one i've gone through and um, i've got a big old dent in that already i really do love that moisturizer especially when you're getting ready for a night out because it feels so moisturizing on the skin And then I'm going to go in with my foundation now, I think. <laughs> Some people do their eye makeup before doing foundation, but I'm not. I'm not like that. I'm going to be using one of my favourite foundations, which is the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue. This I've just repurchased this because it really is my favourite. And then you really don't need much. And it gives the most beautiful finish. And the colour is perfect for my skin. I use the shade Porcelain. I would have worn this for my wedding day, but it's got SPF 45 in it, so we couldn't go with that because of the like flashback in the photographs. So we actually ended up using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation instead. I purchased it in my shade and then we used that. There we go, I'm going to leave it that and then we can touch up the skin at the end. Brows, they don't need much to be honest because I did have them done on day one of Vlogmas. Just in time for the festive season, I think I am going to fill them in just a tiny bit. Benefit, the shade 5. Whoa, I've gone on too heavy already. <laughs> Whoa, this is so pigmented today, why is that? Can you tell I'm not feeling myself today? I just feel sad, I feel sad. I think it is nerves for tonight and time of the month 
and I was considering taking some CBD because I just need to chill them out. I'm just using my Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is the best eye shadow primer there is. It really makes everything stick. Does anyone get it where they like really look forward to an event or a night out and they're like counting day down the days until it happens and then on the day you're like actually I don't want to do it anymore <laughs> like I'm not in the mood anymore um because that is exactly how I'm feeling today and it's such an annoying feeling I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette I'm taking the lightest shade here and just gonna I just like to set my primer in a neutral shade I feel like the darker shades go on better if you've got a neutral on the base and then i really want to try this palette although two of the eyeshadows keep falling out this color here and just put that in the crease of my eyes try and build up the shape a little bit that's a really beautiful color that's so nice let me zoom in a bit yeah i've been looking forward to this party for so long and now it's here i'm like oh actually i'm not feeling great like just know you guys that you're not the only person who compares yourself to other people like we all do it i don't know anyone who doesn't do that and if there are people like that oh my god i'm so jealous of you yeah i'm just nervous about being in a new situation with new people and feeling left out or comparing myself um making small talk i hate small talk hate it i'm so much of a home bod and i am an introvert and so i do <sighs> yeah i panic but once I'm there, I'm going to be fine and I'm going to love it and I'm going to have the best time. But it's just the thought of it, isn't it? I'm also going to take that colour underneath my lower lash line. Oh my god, that is such a beautiful shade. I wasn't expecting it to be that like that. Really, really like that colour. I think it's going to really bring the blues of my eyes out. So I've just tried to build that kind of and extend my eye out to the side a bit. Although you can't really see it on camera. It's like up here and then around up the top to open my eyes up a little bit more i used to not do that at all and my eyes looking back looked very small so i found this is a good way to like open them up a little bit next i think i'm gonna do some brown eyeliner on my top lash line not the bottom i'm not gonna like do the waterline i'm gonna try and put it right up in the lash line light basically just want my my lash line to look a lot thicker so i'm just gonna press it into that lash line i don't want to get it too much on the waterline because then it will transfer down to the bottom one and that will make my eyes look smaller oh i just remembered i've got a cup of tea there that i haven't even had a sip of yet i don't know if you will even be able to tell the difference that i've done that but i do like doing it and then i want to do a bit of a brown brown eyeliner look and i'm thinking i might actually try that with pencil so i'm going to stick with this pencil this is from charlotte tilbury as well i did say it, they're one of my favorite brands and it's a uh, double ended so on one side you've got like a beige and the other side you've got a brown and i'm just gonna draw some of the brown on the top lash line blend it out with i think this is a concealer brush but i'm gonna use this just like that might i could extend that a little bit more I am going to take the darkest shade from my Urban Decay palette on top of that line just to fill in any gap and set it. I might end up going back over this with a actual liquid liner because <laughs> well, I don't really know what makeup look I'm doing yet so it's a work in progress. I'm also going to take that a tiny bit under my lower lash line. For some reason I can really get away with a lot going on underneath my lower lash line maybe because I've been doing it for so long and I'm so used to it. I kind of feel naked without it and it looks a bit wild now but once once the rest of it's done it will look nice i'm sure i hope okay i'm gonna go straight in and add some glitter here and i'm gonna take this shade from the charlotte tilbury palette it is called beauty verse party topper and i'm gonna take it on my finger and just pat it on my eyelid i'm gonna build it up gently because i don't want to overdo it Okay, I feel like we need to hit the big guns here. I feel like we need to go a bit heavier. So I'm gonna go in with liquid liner. So you don't really even need to do all the bits I've been doing, guys. This is a rubbish tutorial, isn't it? Steeler, it's like a felt tip, love it. And what I like to do is just smoke that out a tiny bit with a dark eyeshadow and that will be this one again it's not black 
so it's not as kind of harsh but I just like to put that on top and kind of soften the line just slightly and because I've done that I need to go even heavier underneath okay I think this is pretty but it's a bit boring so I need to find a way to zhuzh it up a bit I'm thinking either a glittery eyeliner might be quite nice patted all over the eyes but once we've got eyelashes on and I'm thinking I might use some falsies just for that extra impact I think that would look great so what I might do is put a tiny bit of mascara on and then I'll put the falsies on kind of as I'm going as I'm about to leave I do not want to be wearing them all day it's only two o'clock now I don't need to leave until 10 to 5 what I might do I might put some glitter eyeliner on okay yeah that's gonna look really nice so I'll do that after I put the false eyelashes on. Favourite mascara of the moment, Clinique High Impact Hi-Fi Full Volume Mascara. It's so good. I've spoken about this before. In the summer, it kind of transferred on my upper eyelid. But now that the weather's cooled down a bit, it's not, not so bad. Um, so I'm trying to like analyse why I feel quite so anxious about tonight. And I don't I can't work out why it is just an insecurity self-confidence issue but I try to be I've tried to like reframe it in my head so like what ask myself what exactly am I not feeling confident about and challenge that if that makes sense so I've been thinking I am so happy in my life like I have a really lovely home life I've got an amazing husband I've got a beautiful house I've got the most incredible cat so what is there to be jealous of from other people that's how i've been trying to talk myself out of it so the only other things left to be jealous of really is looks and i can't change looks like i can't make myself any different and why would i like i i was born like this should be very happy with this so scrap that stop worrying about that and then the only other thing left to be jealous of or feel insecure about is um, success and yeah I am successful but I think that might be what is causing my insecurity because I'm not as successful as I feel like anyone in that room I feel like they're all way more successful than me and I think that's what's doing it for me but like also success is not a competition and is is anyone ever happy with how how much they achieve work wise like I feel like I'm comparing myself to other people's follower numbers but that's not a real um that's not a real thing to compare yourself to there's no point in comparing yourself to that because that doesn't mean you're a good person that doesn't mean you're only less deserving so these are the kind of conversations that i'm having in my head today this is super vulnerable by the way that i'm talking about all this i don't want you all to yeah i i guess i'm just sharing this so that you guys all know that everyone has feelings like this i don't know anyone who doesn't um and I hope that gives you some kind of comfort if you're ever next feeling a bit rubbish. I am going to put on some concealer using my favourite NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. This is a brand new one, which makes me very happy. Oh, it's so good. Can you see? It just brightens my under eye. I love it. And then I can take it on any individual kind of areas that need a tiny bit of touching up. But it's so pigmented you really don't need very much to get a great coverage and I always just blend this in with my finger like I feel like a brush or a sponge just doesn't give the same effect with a finger you kind of like warm the product up so it really sinks into your skin and yeah blends in better I also hope it doesn't come across that I'm moaning today or like woe is me not like that at all I just thought it'd be interesting to share how I'm feeling in the hope that yeah it does help any of you because I don't know I feel like when I'm in a mood like this I feel like knowing that I'm not the only one would would definitely help like not the end of the world that I'm feeling self-conscious and it's also annoying because I bet you it is I bet you it is my period like this time of the month just before my period I always get so low on confidence and I'm like what am I doing with my life it's so annoying hormones I am contouring my nose with the Fenty cream 
bronzer I use the shade amber and it's like the perfect it was kind of like a gray brown but it's the perfect contour for my pale skin I absolutely love it and I feel like it lasts for ages as well I saw a video on uh, how to contour recently and it said instead of putting it like there you just want to put it here like not take it further up so let's try it I think it was Selena Gomez's makeup artist that said this hmm yeah it kind of works doesn't it I'll do, I'll do the other side as well kind of a weird placement but it does make sense cool I think it works because it just looks more like a shadow rather than actual bronzer yeah I feel, I feel like that works and I'm going to take it up a tiny bit around here and also just a tiny bit here this um burn mark on my neck I'm so paranoid it looks like a love bite I keep getting really embarrassed that people think I've like <laughs> doing some teenage snogging <laughs> blusher I'm thinking my all-time favorite which is from Bobbi Brown it's the pot rouge in powder pink and it's a cream I don't know why I love this so much I think because it's not too pink it's more like a like a rose kind of shade and I kind of want to bring the whole look together so I'm thinking um, if I add just the tiniest bit of Benefits Hula because I've done that I can then add into my eyes and I just love doing that because I really think it brings the whole look together so I'll just take a little bit there I think I could go a tiny bit darker on the eyes so sorry I always go back and forward I remember so clearly a, a comment on an old makeup tutorial probably like eight years ago being like can you just finish one part of your face before you like go on to another bit but I'll do my eyes and then go to my lips and then do my blusher and then go back to my eyes and then go back to my lips like I can't I'm constantly like moving around my face when I do my makeup because I feel like you need to like see how it works and see how it all looks in order to bring it together like I'm, I'm not great at it any other way so sorry if that is annoying to any of you I mean it's probably quite difficult to follow along if I do do that but for me I feel like it, yeah, it's the only way I've ever done it. I'm just taking a bit of that darker, darkest shade and bringing it into the crease of my eye just to make it a tiny bit more smoky and a bit more dramatic for the evening. Cool and then I think the Pillow Talk lip liner, Carmex one a tiny bit of this from beauty pie it's a shine lip color balm in the shade baby bear i'll just put that on for now so that at least it looks like i could leave the house like this and then before we go i'm going to add my eyelashes and some more glitter we can finish the look because i've got some really pretty glittery products here that i think would be really fun to play around with guys we're doing it we're bleaching my armpits my bleach has just arrived so I've got like an hour, I've got an hour and a bit to finish getting ready and I've still got stuff to be doing so I need to kind of do this quick and I'm not sure how long to leave it on for. Okay, I've got on an old bra here on my armpits, say goodbye to the black. We're probably not going to have time to do them pink today but at least we can get that the, get the colour done so I'm going to mix these two I got a kit I don't know how much of it to mix don't try this at home <laughs> this is going to really itch isn't it I am not really sure how long to keep this on for um, but I think they're starting to lighten and it's starting to itch just slightly so I feel like that's working. This is like the most random. Who is, I think I might be the first person in all of Vlogmas history to have bleached their armpit hair. <laughs> what am I doing? If you'd have told me at the start of 2023 that I'd be doing Vlogmas and I'd be bleaching my armpit hair, I just wouldn't have believed you so my plan is to leave this on a little bit longer and then if it's looking slightly orange which it might because I might take it off sooner than I need to then I'm going to use some purple shampoo just to take the orange tone out and if it goes a little bit purpley that's fine by me so yeah I've got my Redken <laughs> colour toning 
shampoo what am i doing i literally i've got i've got an hour till i need to leave and i still haven't finished getting ready <laughs> what am i doing with my life right it's been about 15 minutes and it's looking good so i'm going to use an old flannel the ginger now okay they're done <laughs> I've tried to put purple shampoo on. I didn't want to like dye my skin so I didn't leave it on for very long and therefore it hasn't really worked but I love them. I feel like just a little bit more confident now and it means we can dye them pink maybe tomorrow. I don't think I've got anything much on tomorrow. Um, I'm just putting some natural deodorant on and I'm hoping that won't irritate too much. I love that. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna be, feel way more confident now, which is the main thing, isn't it? Because I don't think it's quite as noticeable as it was. And also, hopefully it'll be a bit dark in there as well. But yeah, um, it means it's the best of both because it means I get to keep my armpit hair, feel confident and dye them, which I wanted to do anyway. And um, see, I'll see what they look like when they start growing back. Okay, I'm gonna use these. Falsies, Ilya accent number three. And I'm gonna do this off camera because it takes me a while. Lashes on, love the look of these. Okay, I'm just gonna touch up eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay eyeshadow. It's called Moon Dust and it's just so sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. Matt just adds a ton more shimmer. It's kind of gold and silver, so I like that. Cool, and I might also take a tiny bit in the corner here. Might put a tiny bit of this glitter liner on as well. Amazing, I'm just gonna to touch up concealer a tiny bit. I'm going to set that with my Rodial glass powder. Okay, I think I'm ready. I've just done my hair. I've done half up, half down, and I've added, I don't know if you'll see this, a little cute silver, what would you call it, hair. I'm not gonna wanna wear this on the train though. Can you hear the rain? It's raining so hard. So I think I'm gonna put some trousers on and wrap up warm and um, pack my heels in my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> 